You weren't at school again, Victoria. I told you before, there's no reason for me to go. It's senior year, Jules. Who the hell even cares? Well, I'm ready. For what? For you to tell me everything. It's not that easy, Jules. It is! Just tell me everything that you've been hiding from me, which I know is most things. I haven't hid things from you. Okay, then everything you purposefully didn't tell me. I'm sorry for being such a bad friend. Oh, no you don't. You're not doing this again. What? You're a good actress, Victoria. I'll give you that. But you've played this card one too many times, and I'm tired of seeing the same tricks. I don't know. First, you apologize, and then you go into all this self-doubt stuff. And if you're really laying it on thick, you might add in a few tears. You're a lot smarter than you seem. So, for once, just tell me. Please. Well, settle in. This is a long story. I've got time. I wasn't always such a paranoid mess. I was happy. Really happy. I went into middle school thinking nothing was really going to change. But, well, everyone loved me immediately. Except for Ads. Me and Ads drifted apart in middle school, so no, not even her. But that was okay, because I met Kyle. Your first boyfriend? Yeah. Seventh grade was really hard because I was basically alone all the time, but in eighth grade I met Kyle. We were in the same math class. He was a year older than me, and just about every girl had a crush on him. So what? You had a middle school boyfriend? Oh, wait, is this how you became popular? Ha, <sighs> I wish. So we dated for a while, and, well, things escalated. He didn't one night. He invited me to one of his high school friend's parties, and, well, he got a little drunk. Really drunk, actually. Victoria, you don't have he to- took me in- to one of the bedrooms and started to kiss me hard. I I told him to stop, but he wouldn't. And he he put his hands on me and started trying to take off my clothes. Well, I I kept telling him to, to stop, but he he wouldn't. And I, I was trying to get away. V Victoria. But then... Oh, sorry, I was... Victoria? Mind your own business. Adeline! Get off of her, you creep! Uh, what the hell just happened? Victoria, are you okay? <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, where do you think you're going with my girl? Looks like she's my girl now. Come on. I know you said you didn't want anything, but you should really eat. No, I I'm fine. Not even one slice of toast? No, really, I'm okay. Hey, what was that for? You just wasted a perfectly good piece of toast. It was really mad that you didn't want it. Don't blame me. Are you really gonna keep throwing things at me until I eat something? You know it. Fine. Wow, these are actually really good, but I, I really can't. Don't tell me you're becoming one of those basic girls who only cares about losing weight. Kyle says I should lose a few pounds. You're taking the advice from the guy who literally just tried to rape you? Oh shoot, that came out so wrong. Victoria, I'm so sorry. I missed you. I missed you too. And then you two got together and got married, right? We were in eighth grade, Julia. So? <sighs> and for the record, Adeline doesn't want to get married. Like, ever? No, but that's her future girl's problem. You mean you? Oh, shut it. Do you want to hear the rest or not? Okay, okay, I'll stop. Where were we? Oh, right. Middle school. A truly dreadful place. Nothing else too eventful happened. Well, on the outside. <sighs> she cancelled again. What if she 
doesn't really want to hang out with me. What if she never did? Hey Vic, mom says it's time for supper. Oh, um, okay, I'll be right out. Cool. You had some doubts, so what? That's what they started as, but they didn't stop. No one, no one likes, likes you. you. Everyone, Everyone hates, hates you, in fact. You don't have, you don't any, have friends any friends because you're an, because you're an awful, awful pet. pet. All you ever All do you ever is do hurt is pets. pets. Why do you Why still, do you even, still bother? even bother? You should just you should kill, kill your... your... Victoria? Are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Stop lying to me. Something's been different about you lately. I'm fine, Adeline. Just leave me alone! I think we both know you're not. Have you ever... No. Adeline kept a very close eye on me. Did you tell her about your... Eventually, yeah. Why are you even here? You don't even care about me! What the hell are you even talking about? I love you! Just... just go! I don't want to hurt you. Hey, I'm not leaving, and you would never hurt me. I said go! I love you, Victoria, and nothing you say or do will ever change that. I just... I don't want to hurt you. Hey, hey, you would never do that. I would. And even if you did, I would forgive you. I'll always forgive you. I'll never leave you, V. So please, please just tell me what's going on. I... I don't know what's wrong with me, Ads. It's gonna be okay. After that, we told my parents what's been all going on, and very quickly after that, I got diagnosed with depression. And they took me to therapist after therapist and after therapist, but nothing was really working for me. Probably because you're so stubborn and you don't like listening to other pets. Probably, but... Finally, in the summer of sophomore year, they just caved and decided it would be best to put me on medication. It took them that long to figure that out? They didn't want me to have to rely on that. They wanted to see if I could get in a better place on my own. Oh, I see. So, what went wrong? Well, they kept switching my meds and it really started to mess with me. Like, I always felt dizzy, I honestly probably always seemed hungover, but then we finally found the right ones, and that year was amazing. I finally felt like myself again, and I was beginning to make my way towards being the queen. But then... Junior year happened. Um, you met me junior year. Exactly. Excuse me? Kidding! No, the beginning was fine and well, but halfway through the year, I felt my meds weren't working. Maybe if I... Just took three. Just this once. And it did help, but soon three wasn't enough. And then four. And then five. And then ten. You were... Addicted. Yeah. I didn't care, though. I was so numb, I didn't care about anything. Not you, not Coden, not my parents, not my brother. Not even... Adeline. She found out, didn't she? I'm not exactly very discreet. I still can't believe that your parents are so okay with you partying every weekend and coming home wasted. My mom would have killed me in a heartbeat. And you're so funny. <laughs> and you are so wasted. Good thing my mom said I could stay here for the night and keep an eye on you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and get a sleeping bag. And she's already asleep. It's funny to think that we used to spend all night talking, huh? How oh, times have changed. That's okay, though. I'm happy as long as you're happy. I love you. A lot more than I'll probably ever have the cuts to tell you. But whatever. You're just so perfect and beautiful on the inside, and I hate watching all those guys you hang out with just degrade you to your body. Don't listen to them, V. You're even more beautiful on the inside than you are on the outside. Not that you're not beautiful on the outside, of course. <sighs> you're drop-dead gorgeous. I should probably stop rambling and let you get your rest. Well, not that you're listening to me. You're 
already fast asleep. Oh, this is so stupid. Good night, Victoria. Huh? Oh my god. <sighs> Victoria, why are you up so early? It's like eight. Exactly. <sighs> Whatever, you can go back to sleep. God, where is it? Looking for these? Huh? Oh, great, you found them. Victoria, how many pills have you been taking? The normal amount. Now, give them to me. Which is how many? Uh, like four? It's two. Whatever, can you give them back now? Victoria, you've been a completely different pet this year. You barely talk to me, Coden, or Jules. And when you do, it's only because you need something. Don't be ridiculous, Ads. I talk to you all the time. Now give me back my pills. And now I know why. This red bottle isn't even for you. Where did you get it? I don't know, some guy at school. V, you have- I just need a little more, Adeline. That's all. It's not that serious. It is! How long have you been having a little extra? A few months? Maybe more? Okay, you really need to give those back now. This is bad. Really bad. Don't you understand that? God, just stop talking and give me back my pills! What's going on in here? And then Ad snitched on you? Yeah. I was so pissed at her. My parents sent me to rehab all summer. That's where I really was, if you were wondering. What did you all do there? It was pretty boring, but it helped. We talked a lot and went on hikes and watched movies, stuff like that. The food was god-awful, though. What was your favorite thing to do? Write letters. We didn't have our phones, so the only way you could really communicate with the outside world was writing on a piece of paper. Why didn't you write me one? Oh, sorry about that. I literally just didn't remember your address. Why didn't you just ask ads for it? Well, see, that's the thing. She never wrote me back. Why do I even bother? She's probably not even getting these. Knowing the stupid idiot I am, I got the address wrong and some confused old lady in Maryland has been getting them. Or worse, she doesn't miss me at all and doesn't care enough to respond. Now, Vic, you know you can only speak positively about yourself here. Yeah, like you do that. Writing another letter to your girlfriend? First, you know she's not my girlfriend. And second, I'm trying, but what's the point? What's the point of anything? That's kind of depressing, Al. Even for you. I'm just saying, so what? She hasn't written you back. Why don't you just do one of those things they talk about in group sessions? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. You're being insanely vague. You know, writing out all of your feelings and then like burning it or something stupid? This is rehab, Elle. They're not gonna let us anywhere near fire without at least five adults around us. And even then. Then just send it. Like you said, she's probably not getting them anyways, so... <sighs> Why not? I have nothing else better to do in this hellhole. Cool. See you later then. Dear Adeline, I love you. Is that too straightforward? Ugh, this is so stupid. Vic? Hmm. I wonder where she is. What do we have here? What are you really trying to hide, Victoria? Dear Adeline, I'm in love with you? Oh, God, she's got it real bad. Blah blah blah, the day we almost kissed, blah blah blah, the night we stayed up all night talking about our crushes, but mine was you? Oh, Jesus, I don't even need to finish reading the rest of this to say that she's lost it. And good thing I'm such a good friend, so I can send this to her. Adeline should be quite excited to get to read this embarrassment of a letter. Huh? It's not garbage day. Nope. I sent your letter for you. You're welcome. You didn't! 
I did, and you should really be thanking me, because for once, I did something for you, and not just for myself. Okay, well, it was also for myself because that letter was such an embarrassment. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, and then cry. A lot. Do you realize that you just lost me my best friend? Oh, relax. She won't get it though, right? Wrong. I just found out that she was busy being a camp counselor all month, and that's why she hasn't responded. Well, you're screwed. This is my cue to leave. I am so totally screwed. <sighs> what a day. Hmm, what do we have for mail today? Ugh, at last, my package finally came. What's this? A letter? For Adeline? From a rehabilitation facility? I know I shouldn't, but she's in rehab for a reason. I don't want Adeline talking to some crazy pet. Dear Adeline, I'm in love with you? Hell no. I need to put these letters somewhere where they'll never see the light of day. <sighs> that doesn't sound like something ads would do. Yeah, uh, apparently she never got any of them, so... What did you write about? Just how bored I was, and how much I wished she'd write me back, and... Well... Hmm. After I was really sober for the first time in months, and I was doing a lot of reflecting on everything, and I realized how much ads had just always been there for me and cared about me. And, well, at the end of the day, the one I cared about the most. And, God, all I wanted was to be in her arms again. To argue about stupid things that don't even matter. For her to... For her to kiss me and tell me that she loves me more than just a friend. I knew it! Oh, shut up. You guys would be so cute together. It doesn't matter, though. She's with Delilah. I kind of hate her now, too. <laughs> I love you, Jules. I love you, too, Tori.